Hello everyone, welcome to my NASDAQ YouTube channel. This is Johnny, a network and a security guy. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use R Chrome to mount cloud drives to your Linux VPS. Previously, I already showed you how to mount Scaleway S3 free storage bucket, 75 GB storage to your own VPS. Lab was demonstrate to use S3FS, this application, to do this job. Using Archron, you can mount multiple different types of cloud drives to your VPS. Even you can mount it in your Windows system. I have a blog post for that as well. If you look at my previous video and post here. If you haven't watched it, you can find out link from this video description. Also, please subscribe my channel and give me a thumb up for my video. Now, let's start it. As usual, I'm using Oracle free tier instance to install operating system Ubuntu 20.04. I'm gonna upload my public key. Other options you can use default, create. It will take probably one minute. Your instance will be ready for you to connect into it. After one minute waiting, your Ubuntu instance should be ready and in running status. So we can get this public IP, then you can use your favorite SSH client to connect into it. So I'm using mobile X term to connect into it. Do a quick APT update. To install Archeron is really, really simple. Just one command APT install Archeron and it should be ready. That's the installation. You can check the help. Also, you can check the version. So we are running Archron 1.50.2, this version. To config Archron to connect into your cloud drive, such as Google Drive, OneDrive, you will issue Archron config list command to start a configuration. You can find the list long document to explain all the options for this command. In this video, I'm going to use the easiest way to configure Archron config first, then test the performance, and later on, I'm going to use my own client ID to see how the performance looks like comparing to use a internal client ID. Our clone config. We don't have any remote yet, so let's create a new one. Let's give a name, GD, since we are using Google Drive. Google Drive is option number 13, number is 13, not 12. So we're gonna put 13 here. Client ID, we're gonna use internal key, so which we will leave this blank. But uh, it says low performance. We will test it and see once we use uh, our own client ID, how the performance looks like, comparing to use a built-in internal key. So leave it blank, leave it blank secret. Here we choose a number which 
we will get full access all files. Number one, so root folder ID. We can find out subfolders, root folder ID, and put in here. Then we will mount directly to the subfolder in your Google Drive. So we right now we leave it as blank. So then we'll mount the root folder. Leave it blank for service account file. So do we need to do advanced configuration? No. Do we need to use auto config? No. We have to manually configure it. So we choose N. Here is tricky part. Your browser doesn't open automatically. So we're going to use this link. Copy this link. We're going to get a verification token. We're going to log in, allow it, and trust it. So here's authorization code, copy it. Go back, paste verification code. Enter. Is this a thin drive or it's just personal drive style? Now we got uh, the summary for your configuration. We say yes, this is okay. We're gonna quit. Basically, that's all our configuration is done. Now, how can we verify it? We can use R Chrome lsd command to see gd which is our configuration name so it will list all top folders on my google drive so i have those top folders if you want to get the all folder details you can just r chrome ls gd colon so you will see all folders. So now we have connection to our Google Drive. Our next step is we're going to mount it to local. Let's take a look our local hard drive. You can see we don't have Google Drive mounted into our file system. So let's uh, create a new folder. And then we're going to mount it our no, new remote to here. So the command I just paste here. I can mount and the read write is mounted to home GD drive. So this command is keep running it's mounted but we were gonna open a second ssh session to see the result we don't want to stop this command if we stop the mount gonna go away it will dismount it so we can open second ssh window to see that so this is our second window and same thing you will see GD drive has been mounted. 30% usage layer. Since we mounted to home G drive folder, we're gonna make a quick testing the speed. We're gonna test local speed. It's um, 675 megabyte per second. We're gonna test to the home G drive to see how fast it can read and write. It's about 7.7 .7 meg byte per second. Not that fast. We can make a block size larger. And 
and to, to 1k count testing. This is same testing command as we tested our scaleway free 75 gigabyte storage. We got almost double the speed than Google Drive when we are using scaleway S3 bucket as a storage. Again, this is using built-in internal kind ID key, which is slow performance. I'm going to use in our new generated, new created client ID key to do same thing. To mount our Google Drive using our own client ID, we're going to stop this command, Ctrl C, if you df-k, you will see Google Drive mount is gone. Listen, this folder is gone. Basically, we're gonna run our rclone command. rclone config. We're gonna add existing remote. We're going to use in remote 1 GD. We have token, but then we're going to use in our own client ID. We are not a leave it blank. We're going to add it. So it's asking client ID, do you want to change it? Add it? Yes. So what's the client ID? So here is the document we can follow. Basically, it's saying document, but it's at the end of this document. You will see this make your own client ID. Let's log into Google API console from this link. I already made my own, so but we're gonna quickly go through the process. You just need to select a project or create a new project. For me, I just need to Select this same project API4 clone and under enable APIs and the service select drive Google Drive API Google Drive API is already here. So we already enabled our Google Drive API before. Now we click credentials. So that's the one we created. We can create our own here. We can create the credentials, choose OAuth client ID. Another option is OAuth consent screen. If you haven't do it, just follow the steps on the screen. Just quickly do it. For me, I just need to get this client ID and token ID and copy paste it in. Paste in my client ID, then next, then add it to my client secret, paste in. For other things, choose no, since we don't want to change it. Select yes. So already have a token, refresh it. Now let's leave it there for now. Conclude this as thin drive. Yes. So we got the thin drive list. Yes. Now we got everything ready so we can quit configuration. We're gonna do same thing and uh, mount it again. So we use rclone mount command, mount our Google Drive to home G drive. GD drive. Okay. So we go back our second session. Take a quick look again. 
GD drive. Now we need to run our performance test. This is our first one. So we got 8.1 megabyte per second, which is a little bit better than 7.7, .7, around 5% up. Let's try second DD test command. 14.4 megabyte per second which is even lower than previous testing. So that's very interesting result. As per the configuration description said, when we are using our own client ID, we should get a better performance, but based on our testing, not that much changes, or sometimes even slower. So in this case, or this time, we got the uh, little bit better than last testing still around five percent up than previously so a little bit slightly better than using built-in internal client id still worth to try using the own client id i was strongly just to do that To make Acron become an assistant service and uh, auto mount our Google Drive once the system rebooted, it's pretty simple too. We just need to create a service. So let's um, create an Acron service and then we can uh, copy paste the content from my blog post for this service file. So we're gonna create that Acron service. I'm going to be using Google Chrome command. So we are using GD. We want the GD, this configuration file, to the home GGI folder. And that's it. Save the command. Now we can start our Chrome service. We also need to enable it. There's a typo here. So now we enable service. So what we need to do is just reboot the system. And then um, once the system come back, we check it again to see if it's auto mounted. Now let's do final verification. Let's log in again. Let's check. So now we mounted our GD drive as thin drive. So it looks like we got the uh, one P bytes for this thin drive. So previously we have 15 gig because we didn't mount it as thin drive. We mounted as a personal drive, which is 15 gig. But after we configured it as thin drive, so we get the one P for our this GD drive. That's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, if you like this video, give me a thumb up. Also, subscribe to my video to support me. Thank you for watching. See you in my next video.